Hello everybody. Uh, this is Shay. Welcome to Earthy Shay Tarot. I am here. I'm going to do a flip through through the Cyril Marchetti's decks of the Encore Tarot, the Tarot Grand Lux, and the Gilded Tarot, which is in the Easy Tarot book, but it's the Gilded Tarot. This is my son's copy. I have my copy too, which I have... <clears throat> kind of deck mod. <laughs> I'm like halfway through cutting it down to this very small size and it's itty bitty <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> that is the Gilded Tarot and that is my deck but I wanted to use my son's for this walkthrough. Now I just got the Encore Tarot just maybe about a week ago and I wanted to compare it for everyone from the Tarot Grand Lux and the Gilded Tarot. Now, this is a very beautiful deck. And, and I am just so impressed with it. It just, it blows me away. The, the Grand Lux, I have a walkthrough of it. And I will put that below. But this one is just mind-blowing. <laughs> so, uh, I, I just, oh, okay. I can't say more than that. And um, this being the Grand Lux, I just wanted to show, this is the sides, the edging, and there isn't any, right? It's just a plain deck. It's from US Games. So there, yeah, US Games, I don't have the back. I believe, mm, oh, here's the back. Bum, bum, bum. Yes, US Games. And I also believe, the Gilded Tarot is U.S. Games. Nope, Llewellyn. It's from a Llewellyn stock. But this one, the Encore, is by Cyril Marchetti's website. Is the only place that I believe that you can get it. And, like I said, that is from his website, which is CyrilMarchetti.com. So, and he gives you a card that he personally signed. Isn't that fantastic? I'm just like, oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, I had to pause it really quick there. Sorry about that. Okay, now, the gilded, even though it says it's a the gilded tarot, it's not gilded, and it's not even edged, but my son did some edging in this kind of antique gold, and he did a pretty good job. I mean, it kind of gooped on the sides a little, but you know, he's only 17, but I, I think he did pretty good. <laughs> he got this deck for his birthday a few months ago, and he etched it in gold, and that's what he wanted to do, so go for it, right? Now, this one, yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> I could not believe, when I saw this in a video, and I saw this edging, I was just like, ooh, I have to have that. <laughs> I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. But look at that. I may not ever want to use this deck just because of that, but it is so beautiful. I have not seen a gilded edging in red ever, and it goes with this deck so well. I'm going to turn these around. And we're going to do a comparison, sorry about that, of all of these. And we're going to start off with the Fool. Because what he did with the Encore Tarot, he, Cyril Marchetti, took pictures, or I should say tarot cards, that are his favorites, and made it into his ultimate tarot deck. And you'll have cards in here from the Grand Lux, you'll have cards in here from the Gilded, you have t cards in here from the, um, what is it, the Tarot of Dreams? Yes, the Tarot, I think it's the Tarot of Dreams. Gosh, I forget what it's called, but yes, that one. And it also includes the, um, sorry about that, my uh, Alexa was reminding me to take my meds. <laughs> She's like, hey, okay. I forget what I was saying. Um, yes, but it has the the palace cards in here, like the Tarot of Dreams has the palace cards. So he must have really 
liked that idea, so he incorporated it in this deck, which I don't mind at all. I think it's beautiful. Um, it, like, it doesn't come with a guidebook, unfortunately. So I'm not sure what the palace... Oops. Sorry about that, guys. I just hit it with my hand and it bounced all over the place. Hold on one second. My daughter's being very loud. All right. Sorry about that. My daughter was out yelling at her brother to get off the TV. <laughs> Teenagers. <laughs> um, but yes, like I said, he has the palace cards. Um, and this deck does not come with the guidebook. On the, um, but you'd still have the guidebook from the Tarot Grand Lux, which I love. This um, deck here comes with the full book. But the palace cards, I'm sure you can find out on a website uh, or go to the Tarot of Dreams and find it there as well. I'm going to have to pause this again. Sorry about that. My friend, or my, my daughter has her friends over, so they're girls, teenagers, girls, loud. Okay, here's the fool. <laughs> Maybe I can get through this without another interruption. <gasps> Cross your fingers. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to slowly go through them. I'm not going to make a big deal about it. Um, there's a magician. I'm going to make room. There we go. I really like this one. It's very, uh, like, um, Lord of the Rings. That's what I'm going to say. Lord of the Rings style. I love this. And I, I love the washed out, because usually he does this photographic type imagery that he's done, um, and the collage, but this time he's done it, and he's like washed it out a bit and made it more like to, of a drawing, to look like a drawing, and I just love that. I love that. There's a kitty. Okay. Ah. This is one of my favorite high priestesses. So here you can tell he got the image similar to this one, very similar, but he made it his own. The Empress. You can't beat this Empress card, which I adore. This is like my all time favorite. Empress card, but this is beautiful. I uh, I just love the rep representation of the different animals. I know it has animals here, but it has a well and an octopi. <laughs> that is so cool. But yeah, I I just I love those two. We have the emperor. They're gonna slide all over. I have a feeling. Now here, I mean, it's very Romanesque. I do like this one better than this one. I'd say this one. Head over to the Hierophant. It's very popish. Yeah, I like this one. This one just makes it more like the Hierophant is something that is. Ah, I'm trying to find the right word. More secretive in a way. And this is what seems more holy, you know. This one seems just so far away that that you're it's harder to reach, possibly. The lovers and this one, they are all different. This is very Romeo and Juliet, which I like, and it's they're young. This one they seem older, which I enjoy. This one's very 80s. <laughs> Not sure about that one. And here we are on the chariot. Yep, this is the same pictures, same face. It's interesting that the wheels are facing this direction instead of onwards. I think all in all, I mean, I love the, the the teal behind it, and but I think I like this picture better. We have strength. 
strength. Very cool. And I know that you've, people have been asking, it looks like she's writing it, and this one does too. And I do, I, I think I like this one. It's very, like, native. There's the hermit. Yep. It's the same card, but he just made a different take on it. And it has a snake. Hermit. I wonder what the snake is representing here. And down here it has him like on a cliff face with a river running through it. Here's a path. Very cool. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. And Cyril Marchetti's Wheel of Fortunes have always been so gorgeous. I mean, this has been my ultimate favorite, but I think I like this one better. Just because it doesn't have the picture of the monkey <laughs> and the rabbit here. I don't know, this, the monkey kind of threw me off. I mean, I know we have the monkey here. I, I just like this one better. I like it that it's the more artsy, more drawn look to it. Justice. I like this Justice card, even though I've never seen a Justice with two individuals in it. Just checking to see if we're getting a glare. We are getting a glare, aren't we? I'm so sorry. Let's try to turn this off. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna pause and hold on one second. So sorry about that. It's one thing about Sierra Marchetti cards, they are glossy. <laughs> I will try to show them, especially this one. This one's highly glossy, but I'm doing the best here. <laughs> Let's just work around the gloss. Okay, Justice, as I was saying, um, I've never seen it with two, but I love the, the yin and yang that we have here. I think it's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> two Justices, both are blindfold. One has a sword, one has scrolls, and they're both holding the scale. I think that's pretty cool. Now we have the Hanged Man. I'll hold that so you can see it without the glare. I do like this Hanging Man. It's very nice. I love the, the hourglass underneath him. Uh, and a mirror. So it's a different perspective, maybe um, even in time and space but I just think this one is so beautiful. It's so pretty. I really do like enjoy that one. Next is we have Death. I really, really like the Grand Lux's Death card. This one is very cool from the Encore deck. It's, it's very cool. This one is, it reminds me of a pirate ship, <laughs> but I still think the Grand Lux that is, I don't know, I love the masquerade feel. I just really enjoy that one. Next is Temperance. It's kind of similar in a way to this one, but a better representation definitely here. This one is beautiful, but I think I really enjoy this Temperance. It's very beautiful. Now the Devil card. <laughs> well, let's just say <laughs> I this Devil card here is probably I want to say a, a favorite Devil card, but in this deck, I definitely enjoyed it more than this one. This one was just very, ugh. but it looks like Ciro chose to have these two images here put here onto this one. So he's combined two cards and made it his own. And I really like that representation. I, and how he did the, the bottom here, the hand, we have the hand and then this and the two individuals. He must have really enjoyed that part of it but with this picture instead of with this creepy old Dracula looking guy. <laughs> That's funny. But I really, really like this devil. Okay. 
for the tower. This one, <laughs> I always got a kick out of. He's very um, dance dancer-esque. <laughs> Just kind of gracefully falling from the tower. I always thought that was funny. Um, this tower, I just, it's beautiful, and it shows minor destruction. Same here, and he added the falling naked man to this one. But I still think the Grand Lux is my favorite. Oops. See, sorry about that. Here's the star. Now, they remind me of one another, these two. But he went away from nudity. Um, yeah, she's, which is surprising to me because he's always embraced it before, but maybe he just felt like it, it didn't, it wasn't necessary. But I think my favorite star card, I don't know, I like these two the same. I love how he shows the reeds here. So I don't know, that's a hard one. I don't know. I like them the same. And here is the moon. We have the chains on the wolf and the dog, and we have the lobster. And again, we have the chains, the wolf and the dog, which are the same as this picture here. But it's different. He adds a human, which is chained to one of the dogs. And this one is broken. I think it's a very interesting take on that. Obviously, I'm just having this one here as comparison, but these two are just beyond what the Gilded Tarot is. It's not even funny. Here's the sun. I've always loved this sun in the Gilded Tarot. It never bothered me. I just I thought it was beautiful. I love his take on the sun god Ra for the sun. And this one is okay. I think I prefer Ra. Yeah, I like this one as the sun. Next is Judgment. I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. I'll try to rush through. <laughs> Same image here. Um, different dancing figures as in this one and dancing figures there. I really love this Judgment card. I think I like this one better in the Grand Lux the world. It's beautiful. Um, nothing similar amongst any of them. I've always, I like this one. I don't know. I don't really have anything to say. Okay, now we're getting into the pentacles or the coins. Here on this deck he did pentacles. On these he did coins. I did like this representation of the pentacles. Um, I, I don't, I just, on these, I enjoyed that look with this deck. Never really bothered me. Um, I love the deer. But this one is just absolutely gorgeous. It's very Christmassy. Looks very Christmassy to me, doesn't it? I don't know. This is the two of coins. This one's very, um... I just said masquerade type uh, circus. I'm not a fan of clowns. I think I like the middle one better as the two of coins. On the that's the encore deck. Here we have the same image from the Grand Lux to the encore. I really enjoy this image, but I really like this drawn look better. Then we have the four of coins. I don't know. I really like this one. I'm not sure what deck he got this image from, but I, I kind of like this one the best. I do like the look of this, the five of coins, um, how he's more kind of de with that desperate look on his face that gives it more emphasis on the need of the coin, of the money, of what that card represents. <laughs> This one's very cool. Um, now her hand is green. It reminds me of the Wicked Witch. <laughs> but um, I do like the idea of the the scales and one putting in, one taking away. I, I like that. Then 
We have the six of coins. I'm sorry, the seven. <laughs> Where she is. I kind of like this one. This one's very nice. Very earthy. Very, I don't know. She is reaping definitely what she sowed. So I like that one. Same image again here. Do you like this with that drawn look? The eight of coins. I'm not a fan of this nine of coins. I, I, I prefer actually this one more. For all three of them, I kind of like this one. I just like the colors more. This one is beautiful. This hat on this nine of coins really throws me off. <laughs> um, this is the ten of coins. And he's saving his money for a rainy day. I love this. It's like a tr tr treasure chest with hands coming out. It's kind of cool. And I don't know if you've noticed the borders on the Encore deck being different colors for the different suits. For the, the Majors, it was this dark gray. The coins, we have green. And the cups is gold. The swords are blue. And the wands are red on the Encore deck. Now we have the page of coins. Again, he got a similar image. He added more animals to it. I love the bunny. So I'm going to have to go with this one. <laughs> the Encore. The Knights, he just did a helmet for the Encore. I think I like this knight better for the Tarot Grand Lux. I love the bear, though I do love horses. I just really enjoy this one here. I like to see a person behind the helmet. Here's the Queen. I love this Queen of Coins. This is beautiful, but I just love this Queen of Coins. Not a fan of the King of Coins on the on or the Grand Lux, so I'm gonna have to go with the Encore on this one. He just kind of looks sly to me. <laughs> so what can I say? Uh, so the Encore wins for the King of Coins, and then we have. Of course, like I said, you have the palace cars, which is absolutely beautiful for the palace of coins. All right. Most beautiful ace of cups ever. I even, I still love this one more than the encore deck. It's just the colors. It's just, it takes you in and it just wants me to get an aquarium so much. I just love that one. Two of cups. Did I say coins before? Okay, no. Cups. I really enjoy this one. Um, I love the hands that are holding each other. I love how it's represented here with the wave and the two glasses. I'm not sure about the eyes, but I do. I like this representation better. Here's the three of cups. Um, kind of like the tarot grand locks better because it does show the three women enjoying one another this one just reminds me of like a big party again we have another image that he took and created and just kind of made it like in a drawing style which i really enjoy ah. <laughs> and that is that i forgot Okay, that was four cups. Now we're in the five of cups, which again, he took the same image again from the Tarot Grand Lux and made it his own, which I really enjoy. This seems more airy to me, more lighter. This one seems a little bit more heavy and uh, kind of a bit more sad. But I really enjoy the one on the Encore deck. Here we go with the six of cups. He took again, he takes the same picture. I think I kind of like this one with the stuffed animals. I mean, it's pretty with the sunflowers here, but I really like the walking horse and the stuffed animals there. And you can see her image better instead of kind of just drawn out. Seven of coins, or cups, geez. Do, have I said cup, coins? Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm trying to hurry gracefully, but yeah. Anywho. <laughs> I do like this one with the rainbow, but I think this one is pretty freaking awesome. I just love how this one looks. 
then we're in the eight of cups oh, he's walking away looking for better things and I bounced the camera once again sorry about that y'all this one's interesting. Uh, I love the symbol there. Isn't that Gemini? I'm trying to think. Maybe it's the one for Gemini. Hmm. I really enjoy this one. I like this one a lot. I do think this one's fantastic, but I do. I think I like the, the Encore better. Again, same image. I think he really enjoyed the Encore or the Grand Lux where he took images from. He took a lot of images from the Grand Lux. I do like this one a little bit better just because it gives it that drawn feeling. I love the dolphins here on the Ten of Cups. But there's just something about the, the, the Tarot Grand Lux Ten of Cups with the cat. I just love that. I just love that so much. Again, the pages are from the Tarot Grand Lux with this drawn style. I still think I like this art style better. It just seems more colorful to me. The Knights. Again, a helmet here. Um, I know the, on the Knight of Coins, I liked the Knight with the, with the face, but I th really think I like this one better, mostly because of the sea life here and the colorization and this, I'm not sure about this, this face in that helmet, just something about it. Here's the Queen of Cups. I think I like the Encore better. I mean, I love the colors of the Tarot Grand Lux. There's just something about the face in there. It just didn't match up well enough for my, my tastes. And again, same with the king. He just looks interesting there. I thought I had one upside down. Yep, I did. I, I just, I love the colors here, but I'm just going to have to go with the encore on this one. Again, the palace card for the cups. swords. This one is beautiful. I love all the feathers and the dove. I just I really, really enjoy this one. Look, I have wands. I did that. I did a boo-boo. Let's do swords. Why don't we do that? Oops. <laughs> Thought I had it, right? But yeah, I really enjoy the Encore sword, or Ace of Swords. When I saw this image of the Two of Swords, I loved it, but this one I adore. I think it's fantastic for the Encore. The Three of Swords, again the same image from the um, Grand Lux, just drawn. I really like how I put more emphasis on the heart here than it is here. It's really beautiful. Similar to this one, but I think I like the Tarot Grand Lux on here. I just love the idea where he's dreaming of himself going to combat. I just like that idea. Sorry, my son is playing video games and he likes to yell at the TV. So if you hear that in the background, I'm so sorry. Um, Five of Swords. I really like this. For the Tarot Grand Lux, I love this Five of Swords. This one's pretty cool, but I just love this Five of Swords. Six of Swords, same image again, drawn. I like this one better. I love how he has the swords more out of the water and these are more kind of smaller in the water. I just really like this, the one from the Encore on that one. Seven of Swords, same image again, drawn. I love how he added the birds here. I just love that artwork, it's very cool. Eight of Swords, different image from a different deck. Ooh, which one do I like? Hmm. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I do like the Encore, but I kind of like the one on the Gilded. How funny is that? Okay. Nine of Swords. 
think I like the Encore better. I don't like this creepy face back there, though that would be something of nightmares, let me tell you. But I think I like the Encore more. And it's almost like she's that's herself as older. Maybe she's afraid of aging. <laughs> Ten of Swords. I really enjoy the Tarot Grand Lux. Ten of Swords. Um, this representation is cool, but I really enjoy the Tarot Grand Lux on this one. Here we go again with those pages. Same as the Tarot Grand Lux. And this time we add more parakeets and birds. I think I, I like, I don't know, I think I'm liking the tarot or the grand locks on this one because maybe he overdid it with the birds. And how he has the point down on this one and it's to the side on this one. That's very interesting. He kind of turned the hand. Hmm. Here we have the knight again. Um, I really love this knight, but this one is cool. I just, those eyes just really get me. I just, that is so awesome. <laughs> Here's the queen. Um, I'm going to have to go with the encore. I just love that queen. Here's the king. I'm going to have to actually go with the tarot grand lux on this one. He just, it's, just love that picture. Now we are in the wands, but of course we have the palace for the swords. Here are the wands. I'm going to have to go with the encore on that one. It's just gorgeous with the dragons. Oh, love it. Two of wands with two separate boxes with a key. What, which path should I follow? Which box should I choose? I like that idea. It's very cool. I do think this one's very beautiful, though. Which path do I go down? And that was for the, the Grand Lux. The Three of Wands. It's very cool. He looks like um, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Four of Wands. I'm kind of liking the Encore. I really like it's more of a family, kind of like the Gilded Tarot. Here we have the same image. And I love this of the Tarot Grand Lux, but this is definitely cool how he drew them more. That is awesome. Six of Wands. I do like this idea, the old, older, more <clears throat> closer to Rider weight press, uh, representation of the Six of Wands and that victory. Um... Seven of Wands. I kind of like this one where he's up on this battlement and he's still fighting. I really enjoy that image of the Six of Wands. Or Seven of Wands, excuse me. And now we have the Eight. And it's beautiful, the Eight of Wands on the Encore, but I just love this one for the Tarot Grand looks where they're just coming right at you. It's just fantastic. Next is the Nine which is the same as this card here, and he's doing his drawing, which I love. So, yeah, Encore. Now it's the 10. This one's very similar to this one here from the Gilded Tarot. It's very cool. I like that one. I do like the dog there, though, on the Tarot Grand box. <laughs> okay, now pages. So he went different. The, all the other pages were the same as the Tarot Grand Lux, but this page he went to someone different. He went to a younger kid, must have got from somewhere else, so he didn't follow that route, so that was probably one of his favorite pages then. The Knight. Super cool, but I kind of like this one of the, of the Tarot Grand Lux. It's just pretty freaking cool to me. The Queens. Definitely going to have to go to Encore in this one. This queen, she looks like an evil sorceress from an 80s movie, but I do like the one from the Encore. The kings. Going to have to say the Encore. And then we have the palace, once again, a palace of wands for the Encore. And I just think that's fantastic that he added it to that deck, that option from the Tarot of Dreams. Okay, well that is the Encore Tarot.
compared to the Tarot Grand Lux and the Gilded Tarot. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe. Please like this video. And you guys have a wonderful day. Many blessings and take care. Bye-bye now.